And the Transamerica Pyramid has long been one of San Francisco's most prominent icons. And now, after undergoing a massive top to bottom renovation, it is set for a highly anticipated grand reopening tomorrow. KTVU's Betty Yu got a first look at with its new owner, and she joins us live tonight from San Francisco. Betty? Mike, and here is a sneak peek at what people can expect here tomorrow. They've been testing a light show all night, and this will debut tomorrow at the grand reopening celebration. Now, the Transamerica Pyramid Center, it's been completely redone, and it's historic exterior preserved. The owner tells me he hopes this entire block will be bustling with activity and help revitalize and redefine downtown San Francisco. Having it all come together in the last two months, it, it just is massive transformation. We've been working on this for four years. The Transamerica Pyramid delivers sweeping panoramic views from its top floors, first rate modern office amenities, and completely reimagined ground floor spaces, including an expanded Redwood Park, which will be open to the public. First purchased in 2019, luxury real estate owner and developer Michael Schvo is ready to show off his $1 billion bet on San Francisco. When we bought the building, it was really important for me to bring people here because it's the most photographed building on the West Coast, one of the most iconic buildings in the world, but people never come here. Chavot wants to inject new energy and life into downtown, connect adjoining neighborhoods, and give people reasons to visit the landmark. With what we've done at the ground floor, opening everything to the public and having this great uh, um, lobby that you can see through now, major transformation for what, what happened when I bought the building, we're seeing people gather around here. We're seeing people come to the park. The park, which is connected to two additional Transamerica buildings, will feature free art exhibits and cultural programming. Above the ground floor, Chavot said the building is 70% leased to office tenants who have access to the Sky Lounge, top floor bar, gym, and spa. The project was designed by world-renowned architect Norman Foster, who's behind Apple's iconic spaceship headquarters. You come here off of Samsung Street, you walk in with your friends and family, and we're going to have eight different ice cream and gelatos. There will be eateries on site, helmed by acclaimed chef Brad Kilgore. Cafe Sebastian will open next month. The spaces here in partnership with the Transamerica Pyramid are to really embrace the locals, right? Let them know that the pyramid's back. Come in, enjoy us, enjoy the park that we're right next to the Redwood Park in Mark Twain Alley. Chavot is a New Yorker who was born in Israel. As a child, he said the Transamerica building represented the American dream. In fact, after a visit, he drew a picture of himself next to the building when he was nine years old. I had faith in San Francisco. It's one of the greatest cities in America. And I did not believe that this city is getting wiped off the planet. And here's one last live look at the lights right now on the Transamerica Pyramid. So tomorrow there will be an official ribbon cutting in the morning, followed by a public light show and a private celebration. The park will officially open to the public mic on Sunday. It is great to see this injection of new life. And, and Betty, you mentioned the office building being 70% full. I mean, who exactly are the new tenants moving in? Well, right now, the owner says it's really a variety of companies in search of high-end, super prime office space. And that includes AI companies, law firms, hedge funds, and private equity firms. Mike? All right. Big day tomorrow. Betty Yu, live tonight in San Francisco. Betty, thank you.